and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick video review of one of my absolute favorite lip products of all time and they are the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquers. So I'm going to quickly talk a little about them, show you swatches of them on my lips and on my hand and tell you why I love them so much and also what I don't like about them. So Rimmel is like a UK drugstore brand and uh, these are by no means new. Most of you must already know about them. They've been out in the UK for, I don't know, quite a while, two or three years and uh, they've even been out in America for a while. They just have a different name. They're called Apocalypse in the UK and I think they're called Color Show Off or something in the US but just the name is different. The formula and the color names are the same. The three that I have are uh, which I bought directly from the UK on websites like Feel Unique and ASOS because I like that um, they have a slightly larger variety there. All the shades aren't available in India and that's why I go there. I will put the links to those below as well. There are quite a few different colors. There were a few colors that were released originally and then a few new colors that came out during autumn winter 2013 which is about a year ago. I have three shades. One is from the original lineup and two are from last year's release. Now the original lineup is available in India but uh, last year's autumn winter releases I don't think that they are available in India but I bought them online on ASOS and Feel Unique they are available and I'll put links to that below as well and um, I just tend to go for the deeper shades more. So from the original lineup I have 400 Big Bang and then uh, from last year's lineup I have 402 across the universe and 304 Eclipse. There's quite a variety of shades available. There are lighter pinks, darker pinks, nudes, a little peachy shade and last year's autumn winter lineup were three very deep shades that were more suited for autumn winter obviously. First I'm going to show you 400 Big Bang which is one of my favorite colors and I'm already on my second tube and it is my favorite red lip product. I've worn it many times in my YouTube videos before. If you see me wearing a very bright high gloss red color that's got a little bit of orange in it, it's probably going to be Big Bang. The next one is 402 across the universe which is also a red but it's kind of a deeper red, more maroon or ox blood or something like that which is suitable for the winter months but you can wear it whenever you want. The last one is 304 Eclipse. I'm not very sure how to describe this colour. It's also a deep colour, maroon with a little hint of purple. I'm absolutely crazy about the formula of Apocalypse. It gives you a very pigmented colour and also a very high shine, high gloss finish. To me, it looks very high fashion. It's something that like you would see that kind of finish in magazines or like ads but it's usually very difficult to you know recreate that exact kind of finish on your lips especially with one product. I would think that you would need multiple products or a very high-end product but this is reasonably priced and it gives a wonderful finish but just because it gives that very glossy finish and uh, it, you get it in one swipe doesn't mean that it's easy to apply. I would say it kind of is tougher to apply than most other products because it's so pigmented and liquid. You need to be very careful and slow and precise, especially when you're doing your lip line of your lower lip and your upper lip. When you're doing the, the shape, you need to be careful because it's so easy to kind of just go outside your line by mistake and then you need to fix that and it gets messy. So it takes a little time and precision and getting used to and though I apply this reasonably often, I still sometimes get it wrong and need to spend time over it just how I need to spend time over my eyeliner. I love wearing these either for shooting videos or for parties or nights out because they look so glamorous. I wouldn't really classify them as day wear products. If you want to, you obviously can but they are a little bit high maintenance so I keep them for the evenings but I get so many compliments because they look so good. Now here's coming to a major downside about the product. As I mentioned they are high maintenance and that is if you want the really high gloss finish the product never completely dries. It looks really good but you need to be careful with it like you can't um, you know touch your face too much or you can't uh, snack too much or anything because it does move around like 
if I touch my, I'm going to demonstrate right now. Like if I touch my lips, even idly, if I'm talking to someone, trying to just get some hair away from my face, it will come off on my hand. Yeah. Here you can see. It never fully dries and um, always a little bit comes off on your hand. And if you are like, I don't know exactly how I managed to do it, but I sometimes manage to get this like around my face as well, like with the chin area and all. So that is what you need to be careful about. You can of course choose to block this product and increase the staying power and make it not so transferable but then you lose the really shiny glossy finish and that's one of my favorite things about the product. product with a lovely finish if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribe to my channel and if you'd like me to review any other products or if you have any questions leave your comments below thanks for watching and bye bye